And good morning, Minecraft. This is Mr. Kassarian, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play series. Today, we're going to be processing our bee stuff with applied energistics. So, the first thing we're going to throw down is a centrifuge. And to that, we're going to hook up a fuzzy export bus. And we'll come back to this guy in a little bit. I just redid my system, and I don't think I have any combs in my network yet. No, I do not. So what we're going to do instead is that we're going to come over here, right? Uh, I need to order one more item. One more item. We need a fluid import bus. There we go. Didn't actually have to order it. I already had it in my inventory. Look at that. So we're going to come over here. Um, get through here. Get back out here. Awesome. So right here, like right here, we're going to put down our squeezer. And what we're going to do is if I can figure out how to pull this up, we'll do it right here. We are going to place our precision export bus right on the side of this thing like that. And then we're going to take our ME cable and we're going to run it down like this with our level emitter connecting like that. Okay. And what we're going to tell this level emitter is that I want you to emit redstone when the level of honey drops is above, uh, let's call it 100, just so we have a 100 drop reserve sitting in our network. Okay, And we're going to tell this thing it's only active with signal. But we're actually not going to start it yet because I need a bucket of liquid honey before I can do anything else here. So let's put this in there, and this should start running. Now, it's going to take a little bit for me to get the bucket I want. By a little bit, I mean not too long at all, because the squeezer is going to run pretty quick. And this should be the last one, or uh, last two, maybe. Really? You're not going to take it in bucket form? Fine. I guess I'll have to go get something else. Uh, let's get a capsule, maybe? Let's see. Cap. I'll uh, give you one of those, please. Oh, that's running quite nicely in the background. You going to behave now? Yes, you are. And then we're just going to run right over here, and we're going to configure this with the honey capsule. So now I'm going to take my fluid import bus and hook it up on the side. And there's a texture derp there. Okay. But you can see the honey is in fact being drained out. And now, oops, I forgot to configure that. Let me find something like this. Let me get another one of these honey drops. Boy, I have plenty of that. And then let me get a basic export bus. Because there's one other item that we can compress down into honey, and that is honeydew. Let's check the uses for that, because I just want to make sure I don't want to avoid it or compress it all. Glistening melons, ambrosia. I can make blank templates with it. Uh, dissipation charges, eh. A fermenter gets me short mead. But we're just going to squeeze it down to honey. Okay. So let's get that basic export bus. And let me find, how much honey do I have? Oh, quite a bit. Alright, so let's configure this, and we should end up getting quite a bit of honey stored up in our network here. So let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's do basic export. And I don't want this actually to be controlled through this one, because that level emitter will be turning it off on me, when I probably don't want it to be turned off. So let's connect honeydew, and over with you, we'll do honey drops. 
perfect. And that is running nicely. Oh, right. We get Propolis out of this thing, too. Um, all right. Well, let's get ourselves a basic import bus. I actually completely forgot about that. Basic import bus. Begin. For some reason, my network isn't showing. Uh, when items craft, it's not re-updating the network sometimes. I don't know why. But let's get the basic import bus hooked up, and we should be all set with automatic liquid honey production. And we'll hook you up just like this. And voila. It is hooked up and running. Propolis is getting pulled out. And we are actually in operation here. So I'm going to go prep the next part, which is a little bit more complicated. And I will be right back. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of work. Just a little bit. Um, what I've done, I jump over here, is I've removed two of the Coke ovens I used to have in the massive refinery building. And we're just going to put those in right here. Uh, that's a crummy place to put them in, but I don't have much better an option. I could put them... You know, now that I think about it... As long as I have space here, do I? One, two, three. No, I don't. Um... So I have to invade the area of the other tank, which is not something I especially want to do. Not at all. Hmm, how am I going to fit these in? Because I want to have a door here. Right, like that's an access way. And then a door here. I just don't really have space to put these things in. So let's... You know, let's just do one for right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to build this thing in like this, right? And this is because I know that I will eventually be needing creosote. Why do I know that? Because I have experience. ME cable, ME cable. Because I sort of know what I'm doing sometimes, maybe. So we're going to run this cable like so. And I'm going to cover this all over, don't worry. I have an assembly, a fairly powerful assembly table upstairs. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my... Oh, I forgot the precision export bus. So what I want to do is I want to set this thing up so that it automatically starts cooking as soon as we run low on creosote oil, basically. I mean, that's basically the entire idea of this system. So we're gonna put that there. Can I go one lower with it? Yeah, let's go a little lower. And then we're gonna put our, we should have a fluid level emitter goes on the side, right? And now we're gonna have to join them. One, two, and the last bit of cable goes right there. Okay, so now these are together. So we're going to say the precision expert bus active with signal. Emit when levels are below. Okay, put that in there, and we're going to say below 10,000 which is 10 buckets. I have way more than that. Okay, that's configured. Then we'll sell this to output that. Did I lose that? Maybe. And we'll just hook up our import bus right there. So just to demonstrate, let's add another zero onto the back end of this, or another zero onto the back end of that. It activates, and it isn't triggering. Why aren't you triggering?
All right, let me go get some more cable and test this out. All right, there we go. I just took a couple seconds for it to update and connect correctly. So as you can see, we're exporting. Now it's going to lag for a little while, but that's just because it takes a while to actually produce the oak wood that we're talking about. So let me set this back down to a more reasonable level. Keep 10 buckets in, please. Fantastic. And now we have our import. Oh, we forgot something important. <laughs> Cut that. And connect that. So now that that's connected, any liquids that are produced will be automatically pulled out and sent into our tank. Which already has some 792 buckets worth of liquid in it. So there we go. We now have that configured and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I just want to check in back on this squeezer. We are still processing our backlog of honey and of honey drops and honeydew. Yeah, we'll be at this for a while. Uh, while that's going, I want to check up on something that I was worried about at the beginning of the episode. I just want to see if I have any combs yet. Let's see here. No. So they're going somewhere, and I don't know where that somewhere is. I'll be right back as soon as I figure that out. I'm a derp. I just remembered I had a room in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yep. There we are. There they all are. There we go. Uh, let's fix that, shall we? Alright, but I don't think that's going to help me much. Um, that's... Now that's really turned off. Um, we don't even need that anymore, do we? How is this thing doing? There we go. Nice and full. Okay, so we are back to normal. So let me wait for a couple honeycombs to show up in the network, and I'll... Well, there's one other thing we can do. So for a couple... For a little while, I've been running dangerously low on sand. And I mean dangerously low on sand. Uh, to the point where I was actually, at the beginning of this episode, I went and I checked because I was getting worried I was so low on sand. So here's what we're going to do. Let's drop back down. And let's get over to here. And I'm going to just do one thing kind of quickly, which is I'm going to grab this tank. <clears throat> I have plenty enough of those now, don't I? And I'm just going to hook this guy up right over here. Just to get some lava that I can easily access without having to go through pretty much a, rigor, a rigmarole. And then we're going to come in here. Now, do I have... I'm not certain about this. I know I have a cable back there, but do I have a cable down here? That doesn't look like it. That's fine. No, I do not. Okay. That's fine. I can connect one here. If I find my right... No, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Let's do that, that, and that. There we go. Ah. And that's why, folks, we have X player move wrong errors, because sometimes you do just move wrong. So let's... Come on, come on. Yeah, getting into a 1x2 space with the MP, there we go, with MPS power armor is not the easiest thing in the world. So we need a way to produce ourselves some sand. How do we produce ourselves some sand? Well, let's get ourselves an igneous extruder. We made a couple of those er, for the last episode. And let's get ourselves a... Do I already have a pulverizer in here somewhere? Nope. All right, so I need. Okay. Let's kill that. Put that there. Get some redstone out. Redstone reception coil. Then I need a piston, please. Anything else there? I don't think so. Click. Ah, right. I need a machine frame. That might be important. But that is... I don't need a basic machine casing. That requires that. 
It should spit out at me in just a second, provided nothing goes horribly wrong. There we go. And we get ourselves a pulverizer. Now I need to get myself an import bus. Emmy basic import bus. Begin, please. Let's make sure nothing's gone horribly wrong with that. Five, four, three, two, one. We got all that stuff. We got that. We got that. We're missing some Certus Quartz dust. I'm actually starting to run low on Certus Quartz, so it might be some time to do things that don't involve applied energistics. Uh, Macerator. However, I think I basically have most of my auto crafting system set up how I want it. Let's see. Nope, not basic. Basic. Uh, basic import bus. There we go. I already had one. Oops. All right, so let's get this done. So first of all, we have our pulverizer. Actually, you know what I can just do here? Hold on for a second. Let's just get ourselves. We'll put these back. Why are you precon? There we go. I don't know why I was telling me it was pre-configured. So let's put that down. Let's turn all that off. That goes blue, and we want that on orange. And here's why. Now all I need to do is thud the igneous extruder on top. I don't have a source of water in this place, do I? I don't think I do. That's a problem. Um, where would I be getting water from? water capsule, please. I must have a uh, aqueous accumulator around here somewhere. Alright, so let's just get some lava. Yoink. That's the reason I put that there a couple minutes ago. And we fill this up. We put that together. And this thing should start running. Beautiful. Now what I want to do is I actually want to throw a level emitter on it. Begin please. And let's look up the level emitter. Yoink that. And just a single piece of sand. Yeah, you just saw I had 127 sand after this thing started running. So that's how low on sand I was. So we'll hook that up. And now we'll configure this to say emit when above or equal to emit when below. And let's set the limit at 6,000. There we go. And set that to enabled high. So this way, this will run until it believes we have run out. Why did you shut down there? Ignored. There we go. Oh, it was traveling through. Okay. So now let's see if we have any combs showing up. If not... Nope. If not, I will see you guys when we do. Alright guys, uh, I don't know why the combs aren't showing up. I'm going to have to check that out in between episodes and see what's going on with that. But this seems like a pretty good point to end the episode. We still have stuff processing over there. So this has been Mr. Kassarian. I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to throw me a like, comment, or a subscription. Also, if you like Minecraft, go check out Psycheon Roa on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Psycheon Roa. There'll be a clickable link in the video description. Alright guys, as always, happy mining!